Hey guys, Mark for Ashley Protect Dog Training and Grim. So for the last couple, two, three days, I've been building bond with Grim, figuring out where his head, kind of getting a feel and trying to figure out what I'm going to go, how I'm going to go, what direction, what little tools I'm going to pull out of my tool bag, how I'm going to approach his work. Keep in mind that he's already been worked with a stem collar on load threshold and basically broke in yes, to the stem collar. But he didn't have any clue of yes, good, and no, and going after food and luring, I don't think. But he likes hot dogs, so we've got that to work with. Good, good, yes, good boy, good. So we're going to go teach him his regular stuff with no good and yes and the explosion release and onto the, to the bowls and start building with that. But we're going to be using the, the pinch collar with what's called pressure work. So we're going to teach him basically how to turn off the pressure of tap, tap, tap into the food we're going to build drive with that with a frustration and it's hard to explain unless you're, you're a trainer and you under, and you do this sort of work there's a lot of them out there that do this in Schutzen, and we're going to be teaching him pressure is what they call pressure work because he's already learned how to turn off the pressure of the collar he should figure this out pretty quick and then uh, we'll see how it goes and we're trying to get the focused heel his legs up and get him uh, showing some animation in the work so we'll see how it goes good Good boy. And I played with that this morning when I was off camera. Yes, good. Good boy, good. Yes, good boy, good. Yes, good boy, good. There you go. Good. Heel. Good boy, good. Boy, good. Yep, good boy, good. Sit. Good. Good, Grandma. Good. So I think I gotta build some more in on the uh, explosion release and get more on the marker. Yes. Good boy. Good guy. Good boy. Good. Gonna keep his drive up by going into balls. I gotta get him tugging on things as far as the balls and some tug toys and stuff. He's gonna go to protection. So we've got those two objectives that we're after. We're out to get a better focused heel and get his head up and get him doing some of this little fancy look work for the focused heel. Back into awareness and um, drive state towards protection work, which will be the play stuff, right? Into tugs and then some other things with me being the play and pray and having that relationship with him that gets built on that. And then we'll be taking him out to see some decoys, that kind of thing, get him tested before he goes to back to his owner. Sit. Good boy, good, yes. Good, good. Down. Good boy, good. There you go. Good boy, good. Good boy, Grim. Good. Grim. Yep. Good boy. Good. All right. Hop. Hop. Good boy. Good. Grim. Good boy. Grim. Yes. Good boy. Good. So I'm trying to basically teach him that Grim is going to follow some kind of action right now, right? So we get that explosion release out of there. That'll be his first communication. Nope. Yes. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Yep. Good boy. Good. Please. Nope. Good, that's my boy, good, there you go, good boy, good, good boy, yes, good boy, good, good, good boy, good, he has no idea what bowls are yet, he will as we go along, good boy, good, good boy, good boy, yes, good boy, good, main thing is he likes the food, he likes these hot dogs, so, as we work we'll you'll start to see his drive states come up because a lot of it's just like the ball play Grim. Yeah, I'm good. the ball play is a self-perpetuating type of thing it basically will build with the right genetics behind the dog as you play he'll get more high on it and get more into it it's one of those things that builds on its own as you tease the dog and get him into the ball play out yes good boy good good boy so this is the way I'm working. I'm doing the same kind of thing. I'm creating prey. It's tease, tease, tease. It's going to build as well. Grim, come on, baby. Good boy, good. Good boy, good boy. Come on. You ready, ready? Are you, are you ready, ready? Oh, good boy, good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good boy. Yay. All right, good boy. Good boy. Now, of course, you couldn't do this with a basset hound, but you'll get it out of a shepherd. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. And then with exercise, with all this play, that will build 
a lot more dry stay. And that's what we're up to right now is increase this dry stay a little bit so that we can put it into the work. All right, Mark Farashi, Pro Tech Dog Training. And Grim. Talk to you guys later.